The layout of my AutoCAD user interface is controlled by the workspaces. Now here on the Quick Access Toolbar, I have a drop-down menu that allows me to change my workspaces. And the default is usually drafting and annotation. You notice that we have 3D Basics. If I click on that, it changes my workspace so that my ribbon tool panels reflect three, basic 3D or for someone who's just starting out doing 3D. For more complex 3D tasks, I have a 3D modeling workspace that takes most of the 2D drawing tools off of my ribbon and replaces them with 3D tools. The last one that comes pre-configured is AutoCAD Classic. And AutoCAD Classic contains the menus and the interface layout for AutoCAD prior to release 2009. Therefore, it's called the Classic View. Most of the work that we'll be doing is in 2D drafting, so we'll choose drafting and annotation. Now at the bottom of my flyout, you can see that you can save uh, the current settings. So you could make changes to the graphical user interface and then save it uh, and name it so that you could have your own preset. If we look at the workplace settings, you can control the visibility of the, of the, the presets that you have available. And down here, when switching workspaces, the default is do not save the changes to the workplace and I suggest that you keep this in do not save because then if your workspace gets changed you can go back to it and it will restore back to the original so for example if my ribbon panel accidentally gets closed to restore that all I have to do is go back and change to a different workspace and change it back because the changes were not saved. In addition to having my workspace drop-down menu available on the quick access toolbar, if you look down at the bottom of the screen on the status bar, there's a button that also gives us access to a pop-up menu for controlling our workspaces.